Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. I have another one versus one for you today on, I can never pronounce the name of this map, Niflheim Final 2. I do like this map. I dislike the name. I've cast it on it one time before and played it two or three times. This is Stygi versus Valmir, an 1100 versus a 1200 Aeon versus UEF. Should be a good match to watch. Maybe we can see some basics of land micro, the Aeon, Aurora versus the UEF tanks. Have to see how the UEF opponent deals with the Aurora, see if he's up to the task. This map has a substantial amount of reclaim right close to base. Of course, we do have the ice shells and then two hydros, one available to the left and one available to the rear. And then also we have the tiered construction of this map. You have the top tier, which is inaccessible by mobile units. You either have to edge build a factory or drop engineers up there, and it goes about a third of the way around the map. And then on the second tier, you have a plateau, which is accessible from behind the base and goes all the way around to the other side of the map over there, where again, you can climb up. So this is good for flanking maneuvers. The map is symmetrical, so you do have that on both sides. And then the third tier is the center, which is mainly a wide open area. You have three chokes, but if you lose any of those chokes, you end up in this big battleground over here, which again flows into this shelf. Very interesting layout and allows for a lot of interesting gameplay. All right, we have a double land start. I do not know. Let's see. That is air factory, then second land. So that is air second. And then down here for Valmir. I must say that this is a terrible mistake right off the bat. Valmir is going to be plus mass, no additional build power, with no aggression. His, uh, I take that back. I completely misspoke. There are mech marines all the way around the map. I just had not zoomed out far enough. Derp. Okay, <laughs> re-evaluation of the previous statement. Valmir did get out early labs. This is good, but he is behind on build power. His second air is not started until 245, and I don't think there is enough power here to run it. Generally, you need either your hydro or you need about six to seven power generators, depending on the map, to pull off this second air. He has four, so we're gonna see some really terrible power stalling in just a little while. Got an engineer going out to the hydro, but that is not going to be finished in time, I guarantee it. Stygi, power stalling already. He did get eight, uh, eight power generators up. Dove immediately into a bomber. That was not a terrible power stall, but it still is there. Although he is about to have a hydro, so that is going to be problem solved. Needs to get out some more engineers and try to kill off this mech marine in the back here. I hope he realizes that it is still there. And mech marines waiting for this engineer. Going to kill it off as well. Very good placement there. Valmir, despite having so little build power at the beginning, has done a pretty good job of denying expansion. Although I think that uh, slow start is going to catch up with him. Bomber there, killing off the expansion engineers. Not a good thing to have happening. And this is what I was talking about. 112 power stall. It is far too late to build power when you're that stalled. He's got two extra P-Gens over here he just built with his ACU. He's trying to get the Hydro online. He's down to, nope, back up to 102 power stall. Some of that is having a lot of extra mass. <coughs> Not enough build power. <coughs> but um, a lot of that is just because he tried to go air with not enough power generators and that air factory did get paused briefly and then restarted. Hopefully the power stall is fixed to some degree. All right, Stygi doing a pretty good job of managing his power income and mass income. He's met, He is minus, which is a good thing when you have a reclaim. So with a reclaim, his eco is balanced. And severe power dip. We have a drop here coming. 
Where is his ACU? Yes, that is an ACU upgrade. I would be pausing that off and on to conserve my power. Not good to power stall because when you're power stalling, you are also mass stalling. Your mass extractors take power to run. So when you power stall, you are also losing out on potential mass. Not a good situation to be in. Got these auroras coming in, trying to kite around a little. Between the alpha damage and whatnot, they are going to come out victorious. But there is the point defense, the bane of the auroras' existence. It is going to easily mop up the majority of those auroras. But as long as they're sitting at range, it's not going to be a good situation to be in. Combat! We have ACU on ACU. It is now a death match with the kiting auroras. Not good at all. I think that is going to be the end of Valmir. He's trying for the tie, but there is no way he's going to get it. Kaboom goes the ACU. Alrighty, I am going to file this under another one bites the dust for the for the sake of Valmir. I know I did not play from your perspective, but that is how I'm going to do it because you need this lesson. Valmir, please do not power stall. Do not. It hurts. It hurts in the pit of my soul when you power stall for that long. And I know there's some people who watch my games and go, but you power stall too. Well, that's in a team game. And a lot of times I am checking ahead of time to make sure that my uh, teammates do have enough power to boost me now and then. But when you're in a one versus one, power is the most critical thing that you should not stall on. So if you can take that lesson away from this game, don't try to go second air unless you have a minimum of six p gens the seventh is a good idea if you do not have trees to reclaim and please get more factories online earlier because the lack of expansion killed you that was good early aggression but when you only have one land factory building labs means you aren't building engineers so uh, i would say net loss Alrighty, guys that is going to wrap it up for this cast i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time